Hello and welcome to Busted Speakers. This is Alex and this is the first of uh, something new I'm trying. I'm trying a lot of new things these days, but this is the first solo review I'm going to try and do because, as you may have noticed, there's drastically less content on Busted Speakers than there was before and that's basically because Kush is unavailable and while I can get Lee Likes Music, Placid Burrito sometimes and my other mate Eddie to record with me, it's only now and then. They've got lives before uh, joining Busted Speakers. They've got their own avenues of things to do and, well, until I can maybe get another contributor, it's basically me as the main only member of Busted Speakers. So, considering this is a review I tried to do with Lee but he didn't have time and already had notes for it, I thought this would be the perfect thing to try my first solo review and that is Gucci Mane and uh, Metro Boomin Drop Top Wop. Now, Gucci Mane is an artist I've been heavily interested in for a while, and as this is his first release in 2017, I thought I'd give him a go. It's a semi-collab with Metro Boomin, who's a producer I've come to really like via his work with people like Future. I had no idea about Gucci's rap style except for his feature on Black Beatles, which was really good, so I went into this excited, and... Yeah, it's a good release. I feel like Gucci is a bit more on the chilled side of rapping a lot of the time. Not that that's a bad thing, as when he does go harder and faster, it's always more of a surprise. Feels a bit like he contains his energy for when his bite is really needed, because I feel like whenever he has something to say, something uh, immediate where he needs his bite, it's uh, a lot more vicious when the attack comes in, so... Sometimes I feel like Metro doesn't help proceedings by enabling him to be slightly lazier because of the lush productions, but he is a great producer and does well here. And almost all of the features are at least decent too, so I'm just going to go through every track. I did write a note for each one. Usually I have another guy to rip off of on these reviews, but I don't this time, so it's not easy. <laughs> yes, it's like all those solo... Let's play channels I watch where it's just one guy maintaining it the whole time through. It doesn't seem hard, but then when you're doing it, it's not easy. So, yeah. 5 million intro basically immediately starts off with a nice sustained ambient ambience, I guess. <laughs> they Each of them do their thing. Gucci, rapping, and Metro do what a lot of rap artists do at the beginning of bookmarking slash placeholding their song by saying their names. And the more trap rap, or just rap I'm listening to, the more okay I've become with this. And this is an amazing beat, with a soft keyboard loop in the background to add a nice melody to the instrumental side of things. This is also the best type of intro I can think of an album to have. Showcasing Gucci's flow, without a crazy chorus, just how talented he really is. And it feels like a mission statement, and... Sadly, I don't think any artist could make a 5 million a day, like he says in the song, but... I'm thinking maybe more realistically like 5 million views on YouTube rather than bucks, maybe. Let me go on to Do Freestyle. So yes, fair enough. Uh, once again, like I was saying earlier, these songs all uh, have the production mark from Metro Boomin where he basically starts every song. It's like he's trying to trademark it with his uh, name so you know it's produced by him, but Concerning the whole tapes produced by him, do we really need that? I know they could be put into playlists where different producers, maybe different Gucci tracks with songs from this, and he wants to be known that he produced it, but um, the whole song in general just feels like a fairly tame continuation of the first track. It even has some weird vocal effects between each of Gucci's bars. Still pretty good, and it solidifies my enjoyment of Gucci by this point. So yeah, track three... Hurt a nigga feelings. Um, I'm liking the softer vibes that Metro Boom is giving Gucci to rap over. Some really warm synths that are, I feel like, a big aspect of production style. And they're so warm that they feel like they're almost lifted from an 80s depressing ballad. And it's a nice contrast for a rap track to have, you know, some really soft instrumentals. And I feel like Gucci further shows his talent level here because of the different flow speeds and vibes he can trade effortlessly between here and there. And it also has a pretty cool hook. Gucci's main lyrical idea here seems to be revealing in how much money he has and how other people are hating and are jealous and the fact that he's like this after his prison stint as well. Good track. 
and keeping on the softer side of things with Helpless, another softer track. His voice just sounds softer here, and he's not sinning, but it has a more soulful side to it. And it's just another strong track. It's probably the catchiest hook, and even then he still sounds quite depraved. And he actually has some fittingly helpless type of vocals on here as well, so yeah. Okay, the absolute highlight though is Met Gala, featuring Offset from Migos, who unlike his, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the relation is, he's either Quavo's cousin or uncle, uh, all of Migos are related, but they're not free brothers, they are just directly related in other links. But anyway, unlike his relative band member Quavo, I haven't heard much of Offset outside Amigos tracks, so this is good to hear. And he fucking brings it. I'm pretty sure most of his... Most of the song is just Offset. Himself, banning, and not tripping over himself rapping, which I do appreciate, considering how much I'm tripping over myself, just in this review. And Gucci and maybe Metro provide backing vocals in the same way Offset's cohorts and Amigos do whenever there's a Amigos track. And Gucci does get one verse at the end where the role is reversed and Offset provides the backing vocals. And I feel like that's something Offset does often in Migos, so he's very good at that part. It's an absolute monster of a track because of Offset, basically, although Gucci does a good job too. And it's basically just one of the best rap tracks released this year. No other, nothing else to say about it. That's just what it is. And then we're on to Finesse the Plug which is an interlude, and it's a bit odd to have something labelled as an interlude when it's the longest track. Uh, but then again, 5 million intro was more of a normal track, despite being labelled as an introduction, so who cares? And although this isn't really an interlude, and it's not even spoken word or a skit, it's just a very moody and down-tempo type of rap song, and it actually has the most pronounced and, like, um... The most, uh, pr yeah, like pronounced hook. The the cor like it has a really big chorus part in particular, and it it just feels like an empty space for him to say what he needs to. Have to admit, this is a nice sound, and it doesn't feel like it lasts five minutes. So even this, probably the album's weakest song, is still okay in my book. Then we're on to Dance with the Devil, which is quite an intricate quite an intricate hook with at least two different strong melody lines that'd be enough for anyone else's chorus hook. The song, aside from Offset on Met Gala, probably has the most words per minute in the verses which I really appreciate and I feel as if Gucci's going faster something he doesn't do as often because he's got a pretty chilled flow most of the time. So I read that this song is about dancing with the devil to get uh, material possessions without truly selling your soul. I read that on Genius but uh I took my own interpretation with it. And I feel like that's a pretty thin line to traverse across. So it's quite an interesting subject matter. So, uh, both eyes closed. Now, and this also features 2 Chains and Young Dolph. I know that um, 2 Chains appeared on my favourite song of 2016. No problem by Chance the Rapper. But he has some haters out there on his own material. So I'm hoping he delivered on here when I first was going into this. And... Again, Gucci seems to be the more soulful guy on here, maybe to enhance how hardcore 2 Chains and Yon Dolfo sound. Well, when we get into the features, 2 Chains seems to consciously try to impress listeners with how intricate words he's rapping at a semi-fast pace. I feel like most other rappers, including Gucci, sadly, would trip over and require several retakes. Even though he's not that amazing, he is pretty generally impressive here. And Young Dolph, he has a harder voice, but is much more aligned with Gucci. And that makes sense considering how many tracks, Gucci tracks, he's appeared on over the years. So it's a solid track. And then we're on to Bucket List. And yes, he does talk about Finn's on his own Bucket List and how Finn's other people would think would be on it. Uh, like going quadruple platinum isn't on there. And how he, and this is a line from the song, if, he do, if I don't go gold, I ain't fucked up. About it with all this gold draped on my body as if not having a gold record it doesn't matter he basically says having a Ferrari and not having to sell drugs as he used to when he was younger are the actual fins he wanted when he was younger and material fins like gold chains he, you know he wanted to get out of the rut he was in when he was younger and the gold chains and the Ferraris and yeah 
it's an okay song. And then the last song, Lost for Words, I have to praise uh, Metro Boomin's production once again. I really like the soft xylophone toy piano vibe the instrumental has, and just the vibe that he makes on here. It's unbelievable how good it is, and this just feels like more of a generic solid track from Gucci, sadly, aside from the instrumental. A bit, but then when Rick Ross does come in, there's a bit of energy weirdly interjected in. But he is pretty decent in this context, and this album is pretty decent. It's a solid tape. It has made me a consistent fan of Gucci, and I just further like Metro Boomin's production. I mean, I really liked him from Future, and now I really like him here. So this is a very solid tape. I'd recommend it. I mean, Gucci is really... This is already his fourth album since getting out of prison last year. Gucci fans already know whether they like him or not, and this is basically another solid installment as I see it. So yeah, check it out, and thanks for listening. Um, Please, please, uh, I mean, I always say to leave feedback, but please tell me how recording solo has gone, because I've never done it before. Okay, I have done it before for the concert breakdown, but that was in a different context, and something that only I could have experienced anyway, so that was fine. But... I could potentially make more content with these solo reviews, so tell me what you think, and yeah, uh, if you've heard the album, tell me what you think of that as well, and thanks for listening, subscribe if you haven't, and check us out on social media. Bye guys!